Hello, everybody. Welcome to day three, session two, the last one. And so this one, I am probably going to keep up for like a couple of hours. I don't know. So if you see this, type replay, but hurry up and watch it because I don't know how long I'm keeping this up here. But I am about to drop a lot of gems. And so I'm going to wait a couple of minutes and let people join. And I am going to really quick go ahead and start tagging people and letting you guys know that I am live. Yes, today three. All right, where we at, where we at, where we at? Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are coming, okay, I like that. Type hashtag live, I like that, Angela. Uh, okay, let me let me tag, let me tag. Where is it at? Oh, here we go. Everyone. All right. Well, y'all coming in fast. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. If you are live, go ahead and type li hashtag live. I like that. Hashtag live. I am so excited for you guys to be here tonight. Um, go ahead and type hashtag live. Hashtag live. And so y'all can see I'm adding it on to the screen, but it if you never gave StreamYard permission to, uh, you know, put your name, all I see is Facebook user. And so, yes, if you do not have your pen and your paper while I'm doing these intros and saying hey to everybody, go get your pen and go get your paper because you go need it. Um, VIP was so amazing. It was supposed to be one hour and we ended up being on for two hours because once I gave all the information, um, I didn't feel like I wanted that to be it for them to have. And so I was supposed to only give the steps and walk you guys through how to create an ebook, which it was easy, right? And people who was there, they saw if you missed the VIP because you were at work, don't worry, the replay is going out tonight. Of course, everything has to process um, and then be uploaded. So um, it's going to be there. I did see somebody mention you might want to watch it on your computer because I do. Oh, thank you. Somebody said so pretty. Thank you so much. Um, I do have a screen share where I go over and actually walk through certain things. So I actually taught how to do an ebook. I taught how to publish it on Amazon. Um, I taught how to get other products um, for your industry that are digital products. I taught a trick for that. Um, we talked about starting an Etsy store. We, we talked about all the different ways you can sell your ebook. Um, which platforms are great and um, which ones are my favorite, but you know, which ones can you use? So none of that was actually said in the VIP as far as like when I advertised it, but it's what I taught because as I started to teach it, I couldn't just let y'all leave with a little bit. Y'all need to have all of it, not just a little bit. So if I ever do <laughs> VIP, go ahead and join VIP because you never know how much information I give. And so if you are live again, we're doing hashtag live. Also tell me what city and state, if you don't want to do city, that's fine. You could just do state. Uh, what state are you guys coming from? Let me know what state are you guys coming from? So I know we are all over the country. One time I actually had somebody in Africa, so in a global. <laughs> what city and state are you guys coming from? And let me turn this down because I'm able to see the other comments here. All right, we got Florida. Oh, we got Kansas. Okay, Kansas, Florida, Kansas, uh, Maryland. Woo -woo, Maryland, my mom lives there. Uh, I go visit Maryland all the time. All right, what else we got? I know where the Wisconsin people at. That's my hometown, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now I live in Georgia. All right, ATL. Hey, Michelle. Hello. Okay, so I'm not going to hold us to Arkansas. Okay, my aunt went to Arkansas. Uh, Arkansas. She went to college and we used to do road trips there. Uh, Delaware. 
All right. She used to go to Little Rock. She went to college in Little Rock, Arkansas. So small. It was super random. Again, we're from Wisconsin. So how did you find a small college? I think it was like a Baptist college, too, all the way down in Arkansas. Uh, we got North Carolina. We got Chicago. All right. All right. So I gave you all time. Y'all should have your pen and paper because I'm about to drop some real good nuggets. And so tonight, and by the way, like if my lighting is different, that's because I don't have any of my lights on because y'all know, again, that whole vertical thing. Um, I just needed some time away from lights. It was, I've been live and then doing the VIP. So I've been in front of these lights like all day. I just needed some time. I just needed some time. And so it's not as bright as it normally is. Uh, good evening, Tiffany. Welcome, welcome. We're doing hashtag live if you are on here live. All right, one last thing, because y'all know I like for y'all to be interactive. Give me some nuggets that y'all have learned so far during this three day challenge and stay to the end because remember I said there's going to be another contest. I love contests. I love giving out prizes. I love I just I love helping and I just love giving things away. And so I'm always doing contests because it's fun. And so there will be a contest at the end. So make sure you stay to the end. All right. Uh, who just said somebody said this is their first day. Uh, Heather. So Heather, if you don't have VIP, you definitely want to go get VIP. That's actually still up on the website because you will get all the replays from the past uh, three days. And Michelle said the government needs all types of services and products. So if you missed day one, we talked about government contracts and why you need a government contract as a small business. Angela, it's your first day too. Okay. So I need y'all to go get VIP because when I tell y'all, y'all missed a lot, Y'all missed a lot. And so just look at the nuggets. If you guys, again, um, who've been here for the past three days, drop some nuggets that you've learned. Um, this challenge is called Girl, Get Your Business Right. We talked about getting your business right. We went over having a healthy mindset. We went over government contracts. We went over business insurance. We went over life insurance and how to use those strategies for like, the rich. Uh, so we went over wealthy tips that the rich use. Uh, what else, y'all? What else we do? We did, oh, how to buy a house as an entrepreneur. Um, I did morning motivation. So I talked about imposter syndrome. Um, somebody just said you can you get a government contract for music. Yep, because Michelle did an example for music. Um, let's see, let's see. You get government certification, walk with God in business, learn to rest. Yes, I talked about that a lot. It's okay to rest. Um, let's see, what else we got? You learned about government contracts, commercial insurance, mental health, self-care. Yes, so if you missed any of this, you definitely need VIP uh, so that you can get these replays. If nothing else, you want these replays. All right, so paper and pen. Tonight, we are talking about multiple strings of income, um, specifically how to get to your first five-figure month. And so before I start giving you guys some nuggets and some tips, let me tell you about me really quick and why I am qualified to even teach this, right? And so because some of you guys are new, um, let me introduce myself at the bottom, Maria Vincent. Hello, <laughs> welcome. Um, my name is Maria. I am a wife, a mom of four kids, and a boss lady. I have multiple businesses, but my hashtag is the six-figure business whisperer, meaning I help women take their hobbies and ideas and turn them into six-figure businesses using digital products. All right, so that is what I do. Um, a little background about me. I've been an entrepreneur since I was 19. I was a 19-year-old Avon lady. Um, then I tried Melaleuca. Then I tried Mary Kay. Then I tried Beachbody. Then I tried, uh, I did an MLM that was credit repair. I've done real estate, still do real estate. Well, I don't do it, but I'm, I still hold my license. Uh, let's see what I, I've done. Taxes. I've done so much. Um, I have um, a community organization that's in Wisconsin. I have Pretty Princess, which is a spa party business for kids. And so when I've been around the block, when I say I've been around the block, I've been around the block. I've been in this entrepreneurship game for some time. And so one of the businesses that I'm most proud of um, is Boss Lady University. And that is me where I get to coach 
Somebody said, Ooh, child, you said it all. I did. I learned along the way that everything that I did helped me. Have you ever danced? You're funny, Michelle. Why would you say that? Yes. I actually danced uh, in middle school and high school. Of course, I did. Not of course, but I did cheerleading too. Um, I did dance in college. I don't even know if you knew that, Michelle. And I was the praise dance ministry leader at my church. I also also have coached middle school girl cheerleading. I was a cheerleader coach for uh, my daughter's <laughs> team, which that was very interesting. And so, yes, I've done a lot. And imagine having four kids through it all, all right? And being a wife. And so, um, yeah, my my biggest accomplishment, what I'm most proud of out of everything that I've done is the Boss Lady University, being able to coach and help women um, get to their next level in business. Um, I always knew that I wanted to be a teacher. I thought that, however, I thought I was going to be a teacher in elementary school. And so I went to college to be an elementary school teacher, switched my major after I did the practicum. You know, you do student teaching, went into the school and I was like, you know, these, this is not my target audience. <laughs> Number one, you got to be in school way too early. I am not a morning person. And so you got to be at the school and then the kids be on 10 so early. That wasn't for me. I learned that very quickly. This is not for me. Knew I wanted to be a teacher, but not in the elementary school setting. And so I switched my major to community education and the rest is history. I didn't know how this was going to happen. But again, my path of entrepreneurship led me to being able to teach all these things. And so fast forward to three years ago, um, I hit my first five figure month in coaching because I, again, I had my other businesses, but in coaching, which was digital products, I hit $16,000 in one month while I was sick in bed with COVID for three weeks, literally could not breathe. I don't know if anybody been with me for some time. You probably remember that because I actually got on live way too fast. I was trying to be like, okay, guys, I'm better. And I had to get off because I'm like, okay, I got, I'm dizzy. <laughs> like I'm hot. I have to go because I wasn't better, but I still wanted to get on and do what I was passionate about. And so I was sick in bed for three weeks, meaning I did not work. I couldn't breathe. I had to get an inhaler. I had all these vitamins that my, um, my coat were, no, my doctor had me on. Um, yeah, it, it was bad. However, I made $16,000 and I was blown. That was the first time ever that I did that in my coaching business. And so why had that happen? I set up systems that I'm actually about to talk to you guys about that carried me when I couldn't do the work. And so after that month, I kept making five figure months because I followed the system and the process that I learned from my coach. And so now here I am today teaching you guys how to do what I did, all right? So I'm gonna give you guys five steps, all right? Say so five steps, everybody say five steps. So don't leave, don't zone out. If you are logged into this and also looking on Facebook and checking email and doing all this, put all that stuff to the side. Focus in, zero in on this because I'm about to give you guys five steps on making five figures in the month, five steps. All right, and y'all, I got I got my notes here. So like I said, it's gonna be a masterclass. It's a whole bunch, I got a whole bunch here for you guys, five steps. So step one, you need to stand out. That's step one, stand out. What does that mean? You need to separate yourself from other people that will is or will be doing what you do. How do you stand out from everybody else? First thing that you need to do is you need to zero in on what it is that you do. And what does that mean? So when I first started Boss Lady University, my target audience was women who were moms and wives and wanted to have businesses or you know wanted to be a boss lady. So broad. I made my first ebook, and again, it was for everybody. And so I was like, okay, let me teach you how to do an ebook. Let me teach you how to sell on Amazon. Let me teach you how to do bundles. Let me teach you how to do this, 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 this. And it was all over the place. And I, that I didn't hit five figures until 
I narrowed in and had a specific niche. Most people think that if I do that, I'm a zero in on the audience. I'm not going to make money because I, I, if I go here, I miss everybody over there. Well, everybody over there is not your target audience, right? Okay, one second. We're making dinner. I need to tell the kids. One second. All right, so uh, she was turning the timer off. Okay, so it wasn't until I narrowed down what exactly I was doing. So I was teaching everybody create an ebook, create a course, sell on Amazon, get products, all these different things. But then I had a meeting. So again, I made that $16,000 in August. July, before I got sick, what we cooking? If you could just pizza, girl, like, because I'm like, I, I had so much to do before this live. I was like, we just throwing some pizza on. Gluten free pizza. Y'all know I'm gluten free. We gluten free. Yeah. Gluten free pizza. DiGiorno gluten free pizza is the best. All right. Um, so July, I created system. I created a funnel. Um, and I created a funnel. And my niche became, I start teaching women how to have the business that I was running in Wisconsin. So in Wisconsin, I had a prenatal care coordination business, PNCC. So a lot of people be on my page and they be like, what is PNCC? What is PNCC? That's a business that I had in Wisconsin. And so I'm like, I teach all these things over here, right? And so I had a meeting with my uh, coach. Um, Get a towel, just get a towel. I can't find the towel. Okay. See, this is that mommy part, you know, mom, wife, boss, lady, one second. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, I had this successful business and a lot of people wanted to learn how to have this successful business. And actually, one of the ladies in VIP today, we were talking about that because she didn't know what she wanted to create. She wanted to write an ebook. She was like, I don't know. I was like, tell me what you do. She started telling me all these things. And then she, I was, she was like, well, I'm ending. Um, I'm getting close to retirement. And she does. A, a bitch, she's a dentist. And she's about to, I was like, do you own your own practice? She was like, yeah. Okay, well, there you go right there. Teach other women how to get out of somebody else's office and start their own dental practice. And that's exactly what I did with PNCC. I started teaching women how to start this business. And like, it was an application process to do that business. And then how to learn this is through the state. So how to learn what the state is asking you to do. And once I narrowed down who my target audience was, I created an ebook, I created a workbook, I created a masterclass, I created a, a, a course, and I also created a mentorship. I had different levels for these ladies at different price points. And so it wasn't until I zoned in, had my niche, had my audience, that I hit that $16,000 because I was zoned in. I knew who I was talking to. I knew what their problem was and I knew how to help. So their problem was nobody was teaching them, not even the state. Nobody was teaching them how to do this. I had eight years of experience running my own company with this. So it made sense for me to learn or to teach them how to do it, right? And so I want everybody to type in zone in, zone in what you are good at. What do people come to you for? What have you done for yourself? So if you like, if you've done, and maybe you're not even in credit repair, this is an example. Maybe you're not in credit repair. Maybe you don't, you're not in that MLM like I was. Uh, maybe you just for yourself took your own credit from 480 to 680. How did you do that? Right. And so then you take what you know how to do and start teaching people. Because a lot of people don't know how to do that. So they're going to pay you money for what they don't know how to do. Right. And so what are you good at? What do people come to you for? What do people give you compliments on? So maybe you don't do party planning, but maybe you did a party for your kids or maybe you help somebody with, um, you know, decorating something, did a balloon arc. And some everybody came to you was like, oh, my God, this is so amazing. Bam. There's a business. There's a stream of income. 
And I'm not saying don't get you know focused. If you're already zoned in on something right here, don't go zone in. If anybody follow Daniela, what does she say? What's she saying this year? What is Daniela saying? Hyper focus. Okay, type in hyper focus. Zone in on your one thing this year because when you do so many different things, you're going to be all over the place. Hyper focus. Dr. Tiffany says this is the year of quantum leap. Once you get hyper focus, there's your quantum leap because God's going to bless what He's telling you to do, right? And so that's step one: stand out, solve a specific problem for your clientele. What are they struggling with? What are you good at? And then go solve the problem for that client. And it doesn't matter if you feel like it's saturated. That's why I tell my clients uh, who want to open up a PNCC. They're like, oh, but everybody is opening it. Added. It doesn't matter. Is, is that what God told you to do? Well, if he told you that's what you need to do, then you go do it and he's going to create a lane for you. Not everybody is for you. And so somebody might, um, actually me and Michelle, we talk about this all the time. I don't know if you guys know like Stormy Wellington, I think that's her name. Um, she's a coach. I think she does like fitness. Not everybody can follow her because she has a different type of swag or a different language that like for somebody like me or Michelle, we're like, oh, she she good. But I, I can't take how she talk or like even me and Daniela talk about this because I used to say all the time, like, Daniela, I don't want to talk after you. And she called me one time we were on live and I was like and Lola will, call, you know, have her up and then call me next. And I'm like, Lola, why you keep putting me after her? Because to me, she's amazing. Right. And when she talks, she talks with fire. And so she always encourages me. And I'm like, I don't want to talk like I didn't feel like I was adequate enough to come after her. And so one time after one of our lives, she called me and was like, I need you to stop saying that. I was like, oh, OK. She's like, because who is for you is for you. Who's for me is for me. Not everybody that is for you can take me in my fire because they'll probably be like you too much. Right. And so your audience is out here waiting for you to create what you are um, passionate for, what you're good at. And a lot of people won't do it because they feel like it's oversaturated. It's not. Your people are waiting for you. You matter of fact, your people are paying other people because you're not out here with your stuff yet. So they have to find somebody else and they probably find somebody else who don't match, who does not have everything that they need. And so who is a gatekeeper? Go ahead. Everybody type in gatekeeper. Y'all know what that means. So now they have to buy course one, course two, course three, course four. I got that, I, I, I've experienced that where it's like, I'm just, I just need everything. Like why I got to keep getting X, Y, Z. <laughs> and then I still feel like I'm missing something. I still feel like I still feel like you ain't gave me everything. Right. And so now they're coming up against these gatekeepers because you are not out there with your product because imposter syndrome, because you think it's oversaturated. None of that matters. If God told you to do it this year, we are doing it. So do it even though you're scared. All right. Even though you're scared, do it. So that's step one. Stand out. All right, everybody ready? Step two. Step two is how to attract your clientele. So client attraction. What is going to attract your client to you? And I'm going to just be real transparent. What I know now and how I, I show up wasn't how I showed up three years ago when I did hit that $16,000. Um, I still made the money even though my brand wasn't this luxurious or even my photo shoot that everybody uh see which i need more photos i know if y'all tired of that picture don't worry. i'm tired of that picture too but it's professional so i gotta use it <laughs> until i get new pictures um that wasn't my brand when i made sixteen thousand dollars i i didn't take those pictures yet i bootstrapped it and so a lot of times your, your course or what you're offering, that pain that people feel and that answer that you have, sometimes it doesn't matter what your brand look like, right? Especially if the price match, and we're going to get to that in a second, pricing. And so, but once you grow 
And I say this because I know a lot of people are new to entrepreneurship and they, it can be intimidating when you see other coaches with fancy logos and fancy colors and really nice photo shoots and, you know, all of this. And so if you guys were live with us, when me and Michelle talked, uh, we was like, she said, go get a photo shoot. And if, even if you can't afford it, I'm like, you can't afford it. You can afford it. Get you an outfit from Ross. That's where I got that white out jumpsuit from in that one video that I have. You can either do your own makeup or go get your makeup done because you can get your makeup done for like $70, $80. You can go to Sephora. You can go to <laughs> Jordan just made a face like what? What is that expensive? It's not cheap. <laughs> she said that's not cheap. Um, but you can, it depends on what the, the feel that you're going for your photo shoot. Go get your makeup done and then go to the park. Go to a hotel because their lobbies be amazing. Go to a luxurious place, maybe a restaurant, a, a real fancy restaurant got really fancy looking furniture and, and just start taking pictures, right? Our phones are amazing. Our phones take really great pictures. And so we actually did a whole photo shoot, me and a couple of friends, just in a lobby of um, a condo building where there were condos, right? And so it doesn't have to be expensive, but just you need to have more than just selfies. And that was me. And that's kind of how Lola, not kind of, that's one of the things that Lola helped me with was e elevating my brand where I had a lot of selfies and a lot of selfies because I was also insecure about my weight too. And I didn't want like full shots. And so that's a whole nother story. Tiffany Diller said, you can create a nice logo in Canva. Exactly. Right. And so you don't have to spend all this money in the beginning. I had no logo for PNCC at this time. I had no fancy website at this time. I didn't have any of that and I made that $16,000. So just get started, just start offering what you have. Okay, so the client attraction, when you start advertising or not by advertising, I mean talking because all you gotta do is post and that's advertising, right? When you start talking about the solution that you're offering to your clientele, um, yeah, Michelle is, the yep michelle is the queen of canva <laughs> so if y'all need help with canva i know i think she got a class on canva i don't know if she still had it but i know she had she had it before so let them know if you still have that i don't know but anywho um oh shoot what i was what was i saying y'all what was i saying i lost it what was i saying we're talking about client attraction. Oh, posting on Facebook. So posting on Facebook, posting on Instagram, posting on TikTok, posting on Pinterest, wherever your clientele is, that's where you need to be focusing and posting. And so I'm not going to tell you that Instagram has like 1 billion customer or people on there. It doesn't matter if they have 1 billion people, if your customer is on TikTok. It doesn't matter how many people Facebook, ha Facebook has because I know it's more than 1 billion, but it doesn't matter how many people Facebook have if your clientele is on TikTok. And so that's one part of you need to know where your clients are. And so if your clients are, um, what is it, Gen Z? I don't know what, Imani is 20. So whatever age range had it, I think that's Gen Z. They're on TikTok. Now she has a, a Facebook, but she don't like Facebook. She's like, that's for old people. And so you need to know where your target audience is and that's where you post. And so now that you're posting, now you're going to be talking about the solution that you have. And so you're going to talk about it all the time so that now every time somebody see you, they're going to automatically connect. Oh, she helped people get to six figures. Oh, she does this, right? Because that's all you talk about. Now, I'm not saying every single post should be about business. That's not the case. You want to, again, learn the platform that you own. Um, because especially with Facebook, you also want to sprinkle in life and motivation and teaching and all these different things. Uh, you just want to start talking about, Michelle says she still do have the Canva class, guys. Um, you just want to start talking about what you saw, what's the issue, but don't talk about the issue too much because then you get people who complain a lot. You want to start talking about the solution. You want to have your audience be people full of solution based people like people. Not everybody who has a problem is the same because some people will just stay in the problem. Some people will actually look for the solution. So you want to start posting your solution. All right. And so that is step number two, the client attraction. Uh, somebody said facts. I made money off of them. 
I'm assuming you mean TikTok. I'm not sure. My daughter said the same about Facebook. Yeah, the younger generation, they don't like Facebook. Again, I've been on Facebook since 2005. So at this point, Jordan, don't why should, her facials are hilarious, y'all. Y'all can see her. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it, th Facebook is a dinosaur to the younger audience. They're on TikTok. Now, I tried to go on TikTok and it's frustrating to me. My audience ain't there anyway. So if everybody, I'm like, everybody doing TikToks, I want to do TikTok. I'm not about to waste my time because my my growth is on Facebook. My audience is on Facebook. Uh, yeah, Facebook is for old people is what the younger people say. Forget y'all. Yes, I'm 40 and we still like it. <laughs> we like it over here, right? So that is step number two. All right, let me hurry up because we had 30 minutes. I told y'all this was going to be a master class. I said it. So I hope y'all taking notes. Like this a lot. This I could have charged for this master class. I could have. I could have. Somebody said, I can't get with TikTok. It's confusing. Yes. First of all, do y'all know the first app that actually made me feel old? The first <laughs> app that made me feel old because I grew up in that generation where social media became a thing. Like we had Black Planet. We had MySpace. Uh, we had all these, and then Facebook, we had all these different things. And so I always felt like I was in the in crowd because we grew up with this stuff, right? Snapchat made me feel old. I did not understand it. So I think I downloaded Snapchat when it first came out a, a good three times. And I had to have younger people tell me what, the, like, what this, what, it made me feel so old. It made me, I did not understand it. I'm like, but even when they had like the, the strikes, like they had to put an S for streaks. I was so confused. It made me feel old, but that's beside the point. Snapchat, I just, I'm like, I'm officially old and that's okay. That's okay. So again, wherever your audience is, that's where you need to be. And somebody said, I still don't understand Snapchat. Right, I don't let it go. My, my audience is not there. So now I don't waste my energy on platforms that my audience is not. So I'm not about to master Twitter, I'm not. So you want to master whatever platform your customers are on. That's what you want to master. And I would, I would recommend two, right? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> even Instagram at this point is for old people. I don't know, I don't know. It allows business accounts, that's great, but I'm just not going to do it because, again, my customers are not there. Like, y'all see right now, like, we're vibing on this. So, like, I hope you guys are my audience, right? Y'all already saying y'all don't understand Snapchat. Y'all saying it. Like, so you listen to your audience. So why would I get on Snapchat if my audience don't understand it? I don't understand it. Michelle, she does corporate things. She does the contra government contracting. So her jam, LinkedIn. Her customers, if she's dealing with corporations and, you know, people $500,000 plus, they're probably not on Facebook, but they on LinkedIn. So what does she do? She is the master of LinkedIn because she knows, you know, you used to despise Canva, but my audience love it. So I'm using it to my, Jordan, to your event. Yeah. Go find where your audience is and then you go there and you master it. All right. So that was step two, client attraction. All right, y'all ready for step three? Step three is your program and your pricing. This is one of the hardest things, right? It's like, how do I know what to price it at? How do I know what program to do? How do I know what to offer, right? Somebody said, I can't figure out LinkedIn, me either. But then when you have friends like Michelle, she just be like, look, sit down, we're doing LinkedIn. And so <laughs> she made me do it because as I grow, I have to master LinkedIn. I don't know. But, you know, again, she's the queen of LinkedIn. So she'd be getting me right, y'all. She'd be getting me right. And so, yeah, you definitely want to learn about LinkedIn as you grow in business. Um, yeah. So program and pricing, that's step three. Everybody type in program and pricing, step three. So I want to make sure y'all still here. You still here? Is this, this is good? Is this good information? So I'm going to give y'all some tips. And I just, okay, if Lola was here, she'd be like, wait, 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 you're giving away too much. She'd probably be like, you're giving away too much. I'm giving away a lot, y'all. So program and pricing. 
the easiest way we actually me and michelle did a powwow with a couple of our faith figure sisters and she would one of our uh, sisters was trying to figure out what to price it at and i came into the the conversation late because i had some family things going on and then i just joined and so they already had the conversation they were deciding what the pricing was the kids see you know lola would say that she'd be like wait 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 they gotta get vip for this like <laughs> she would say that in a second um God said, give it away. So give it away. That's funny. Uh, yeah. So y'all better be taking notes. Y'all better be taking notes. And so, um, yeah. So I came in late on the conversation and they were like, okay, wait, Maria, what would you, they told me the program, what would you price it at? And I said, okay, well, here's the thing. I'm not just going to randomly say a price because it's research that has to be done before you price your stuff, whether it's an ebook whether it's a workshop, whether it's a, a class or a, um, a course, there has to be research that's done because the last thing you want to do in your pricing, um, Michelle Lenora took a masterclass and still was, <laughs> this is why you need coaching, right? Masterclass will only gets you so far. Coaching is what you need. Maria really worked it out for us. She took it part by part. So yeah, you have to, um, do the research before you price. You want to make sure that you don't outprice yourself either underbid or overbid. So like what do I mean? Like let's say you're going to be teaching how to start a nonprofit. You don't want to just say, "Oh, you know what? I feel like because they can make a million dollars, I don't know. I don't have a nonprofit. They can make a million dollars with this. I think I'm going to charge $4500." Right? But then you go into the market and maybe you see people charging $397. But they charge $397 because they break it down into different classes because they feel like the whole thing is too overwhelming. And so I'm going to just tell you real quick, that's why some people do gatekeeping. Not everybody, because some people just don't want you to know everything because they don't want you to get on their level. But for some people, they break down their courses because if I give you everything, you're going to be overwhelmed and then you're going you're gonna to do nothing. OK, so that's just that little tidbit. And so some people break it down into smaller courses so that you can digest it better. And so this is part of the research, though. What are people doing out here that are successful? And so I'm like, OK, well, you probably see that these people are charging three ninety seven. So if you come out here and say it's forty five hundred and you're new, you're probably not going to sell anything. Or let's say you charge forty five hundred, but people out here charging ten thousand. You just didn't undercut yourself. You could have charged somewhere close because sometimes if Tamiria is still on here, I'm going to use her as an example because I tell her all the time, she's new to creating a course, but her oil is her oil. If you guys have joined God's Daughter yet, go ahead um, and shout it out. If you haven't, go join it because what she brings to the table is fire. And so she will preach. She will teach. Um, and so sometimes it doesn't matter if you're new to having a course, your oil is your oil, your information is your information. And that's what they're buying. They're buying your knowledge. Right. And so you have to go do research and see what are other people charging. So if somebody's charging 10,000, you actually might not have the confidence to get to do 10,000, but maybe you can do 7,500. Maybe you can do 5,000 to just get in there. And so I actually have a course coming out soon. So be on the lookout. And I asked a lot of people who are my target audience. And I was like, I did some research. It's part of my research, right? I was like, how much would y'all pay for this? And I gave all the modules. It's about 13 modules. And I said, and then each module, I broke down what I'm teaching in that module. And I had people saying, yeah, this class right here is worth 15,000. Zuma was like, oh yeah, I would pay, I would pay 10,000 easy. 10,000, you would pay that for my class. And so I realized, uh, oh, see, Tamiria, the guy's daughter is awesome. Yep, I tag it inside a boss lady if you haven't joined yet. Um, I didn't, and I still don't, I, I'll get there. I didn't have the confidence to be like, oh yeah, this course about to be 15,000. Because to me, if y'all don't know, I'm gonna just put that out there. I paid 22,000 for Lola's program. And I didn't have that just in my bank, like, woo, here's 22,000, there you go. 
that that was not readily available, but I believed in what it was that she offered and what my ROI was going to be, my return of investment. What was it going to be? And I've definitely over the past three years got my ROI on that 22,000. Matter of fact, within one year, I doubled that being attached to her. Right. So I was ready for that investment. And so but now where I am now, I'll get there. But I don't necessarily have the confidence to be like my program is a uh, fifteen thousand dollars. But that was part of my research. What would you guys pay for this? And so based on what I have now, I can move accordingly on how I'm a price. Also, as far as when it comes to program, how are you going to teach what it is your people need. And so uh, really quick, when I first started um, teaching PNCC, I started teaching via email. <laughs> um, and I knew about courses. And as for whatever reason, I didn't connect Boss Lady University on this side with the PNCC side. I didn't connect it. And so I used to teach it via email. I used to be like, okay, step one through five, do this, 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 this. Send the email. When you do all of that, come back and let me know. Then they say, hey, I did everything. Um, and then I say, okay, now do this, 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 is this. Send it out. When you do it, let me know. If you need a one-on-one, -on -one, set up a one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, I think at that time I charged like three fifty, four hundred dollars because I was new. Um, and then again, I'm teaching via email. So I didn't have any systems. Fast forward to me creating systems. I had a one-on-one -on -one my coach in July. And she was like, why are you not doing the systems that you know? You know how to create a course. Why don't you have a course? Why don't I have a course? Why don't I have a funnel? I then start charging. And again, like my price continually went up. I started charging $1,200 for that class. And um, I created a funnel, which is that's how I made the $16,000 while I was in bed sick because I had did all my lives. I talked to everybody about what I was doing and then bam, got sick. But they were still able to go log into the funnel, give me the email, go into the next page. Um, just like you guys who um, signed up for this challenge, that was a funnel. You gave me your email. You either got VIP or you didn't. Took you to a thank you page. Um, if you did the freebie that I had, 100 digital product ideas, that was another funnel. You gave me your email to get the 100 tips. And then it went to a new page that said, hey, what about... Um, they were passing through that <laughs> over time. Right. And so it was like, okay, after the freebie, here's an upsell for $27. Here's a better product for you. Really quick, let me tell you, I spent nine like $90 real like I told Michelle yes. I said I spent $90 yesterday on accident. I did not mean to spend that money. I was not planning on spending that money. I opened the email and she was like, here's a toolkit for $27. And I was like, oh, this toolkit is nice. $27 is not that much money. So I went and I know about funnels. I know how this works. I know upsells, right? And so this is what I want you guys to do. This is what when you start offering what you have. Um, she got me into her funnel with $27. What came next? Now that you got that, what about this? Here go five courses and you get it for $97. At this point in the game, I really don't need any more courses because I know a lot. I just need a, co a different coach on another level. But that's another story. And so I was like, eh, I don't really need those courses. Not for $97. So I was like, no, thank you. Took me to another funnel page. Oh, you don't want it for $97? What about for $47? I was like, hmm, you know, $47 is not that bad. It was 97, but now it's 47. And I was like, okay, you know what? What if I continue and go to the next page and she mark it down even more? And then, right, it's a down sale. So you have up sale and then you have the down sale. And I was like, but wait, but what if it don't? And then I miss it. I don't want to miss it because $47 is great. And so y'all, I ended up buying this $47 class that I didn't even open the email yet. That's how funnels work. You get in with the freebie, you have the upsell, you have the downsell. And then for some people, it's sales, 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 sales. You got like five different sales. They're like, ooh, 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 you need this. Ooh, 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 what about this? Ooh, 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 what about this? Right? You got the order bump, you get the, the downsell will get you. So here I am, like, actually, right before this class, I did it again, where I bought somebody's book, the click funnels. He had a book for nine dollars, and it, the book is not nine dollars. The book is free, but you got to pay for shipping. Oh, okay, cool. 
So I got the shipping. Then he's like, oh, but for this, you get all of this stuff for 127. Mm, but then he just start adding more stuff and adding more stuff. And how I am now, a lot of what I buy is to help people that I work with so that, you know, whatever program that I create, it makes it better. I was going to invest in ClickFunnels, but have the book as well, but it's expensive. It is expensive, but if you do it right, it pays for itself. And so, um, yeah, I pay the $97 a month, um, but I, I make way more than that using it because it's this is how you need a funnel this is how you make it passive y'all all know that I, last week i was sick with vertigo literally i couldn't move every time i moved i was dizzy every time i moved i felt like i was falling downstairs uh it was crazy and like i'm way better now still gotta go to the doctor but right, way better now but i couldn't work that much i, I worked a little bit and then of course i scheduled posts but i made like almost two thousand dollars from ClickFunnel and I didn't work. So it's worth the investment. But if you, I got a link for y'all. So don't get it. If you ain't got it yet, don't get it. Cause of course I do, I got some affiliate links with ClickFunnel. So don't get it. If you want it, just contact me. I got a 15 day trial and I think one is a 30 day trial. I don't know. Um, yeah, you get overwhelmed with this information. With, uh, yeah, the funnels are very overwhelming. I'm gonna talk about that shortly. All right. Uh, okay, so program and pricing. You got to do research, y'all. You got to have a program that is going to help your customer. So I'm not going to create, when I just had a course on uh, creating an ebook, but I had no proof in my pudding, it didn't work. It didn't help my, my people because first of all, what was their problem? I'm just like, they busy. So my coach at the time, she was like, well, if your customers are busy, why you write an ebook and you don't have an audible? I don't know. So like you can't just randomly make stuff. You have to understand your client and then make according to that. And so I know that my avatar works. And so I try not to have my stuff in the afternoon anymore because I know I really understand my avatar now. I know that my job and what I do and the problems that I solve, I help you quit your job. But in order for me to help you quit your job, that means you got to have a job. And so a lot of people I knew wasn't going to be able to make it to VIP because it was at noon and they had to work. But that was just a timing issue with this. Bro. I, I could not do it in the PM. I had stuff going on. Um, so, yeah. So I did it in the afternoon. But you have to understand your avatar to be able to offer pricing and programs that's going to help them. So research, program and pricing. You got to do the research. So that's number three. Yeah. Audible. And then if you go to Fiverr, you can actually find somebody who can do it better than you. I don't want to, I don't want my voice on Audible. <laughs> I'd rather pay somebody who has a nice voice like Chantel. If y'all was in day one, I tell Chantel all the time, like, your voice is just so nice. I say, you need to have a YouTube channel. Your YouTube channel, you need to be doing affirmations or like nightly affirmations that I could just fall asleep to. And then you would make money because I done fall, fell asleep. And then your, your YouTube video could be like three hours of looping. I'm not like I hear it subconsciously, but I'm asleep. And so it's just playing. And now you got all these playing minutes and now you get money from YouTube. So, yeah, if you got a nice voice. She has a wonderful voice. If you got a nice voice, get on YouTube and do some affirmations, nightly affirmations and let people fall asleep to your stuff. All right. Step four. Everybody say step four. Is this good? Is this helpful? Because I, I know we on here for 48 minutes. I'm trying to hurry up. Is this good? Is this is helping y'all? Go to boker.com. They have audible book packages that has recorded voices. Nice. See? Yeah, yeah. Full of full of full of great information in this this group. Don't rush. Okay. Cause I y'all, real quick, do I talk too fast? I know I talk fast, but like, do I talk too fast for y'all? Because I, I I'll get off a live and be like, man, I talk, I, I was talking fast. I know I talk fast, but I'll be trying to slow down. I promise I do, but I know I talk fast. So I apologize if like I'm talking fast. Um, I just be excited sometimes and it just be coming out. So I'm like, I want to take a, 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 this is very helpful. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just, we want to take a, like a, um, what do you call that? A class where they help you talk. I write just as fast as you talk. Okay, cool. So I just want to make sure that I'm not too fast. I'm not yeah, I'm excited because I want y'all to have this money. I'm ready for y'all to have a five-figure month. Like, do you know how you will feel? I'm going to play a video in a second 
Do you know how you will feel when you hit five figures? And then when you hit five figures the very next month, I still remember the feeling that I got the first time. Like I was so blown. Like little old me, people buying my stuff because they want to learn from me. I was like, what? And then the first month, it being 16,000, blown, right? Blown. Yeah. Okay. Anywho, anywho. So step four, step four. Systems, you guys need systems for you to scale. And so we were just talking about click funnels. You need systems because when you start doing client onboarding, it's going to be overwhelming if you don't have the systems. And so what email system are you using? What click funnel? Like, do you understand click funnels? I didn't understand. I didn't even know about click funnels actually until my coach. Literally, we did a one on one, and she literally sat me like we, it was virtual, and we walked through click by click how to do a funnel. And this is also why I do it. Like I do it because I've had people do this like this for me. I I love her to this day for that. Like how she taught me all the basics of what I know, how to do the ebook, how to do a course, how to sell on Amazon, how to publish on Amazon. Like she literally walked me through all these things step by step. And so I'm here today to help you guys step by step, just like somebody helped me because bumping your head along the way is not fun. Right. And so I learned how to put the videos into the system, the worksheets into the system, creating all the stuff on Canva. Like I learned how to do that because I had a coach and it's a difference between a coach and a mentor. A coach will take you step by step and hold your hand. A mentor guides you along the way. Like they just kind of check in with you and you can like pick their brain because they're doing what you're doing. They don't have time. And if you guys for you who follow Lola, she say it all the time. It's the difference of uh, Phil Jackson is the coach. He's going to break it down step by step. Do this, do this. And then you have Michael Jordan. I must say Michael Jackson. (laughs) You got Michael Jordan, who's the basketball player, who's the mentor, because guess what? He's out there playing the game too. So I don't have time to teach you step by step. I'm in the game. I'm saying, Hey, come get in the game with me. And we can both win the game. So that's the difference between a coach and a mentor. A lot of people think you need a mentor, but you need a coach. You need a coach that's going to hold your hand, take you step by step through a lot of different things. That's going to sit you down on a lot or a Zoom call and say, this is how you do a funnel. This is how you attach your Stripe account. This is how you create a Stripe account. Right. That's the difference. And so I'm a coach. I'm a teacher. I know that. And so you want to have systems that's going to have this. Um, process easy for you. So how was I able to make $10,000 while I was in Mexico? Because I had the systems. People were giving me their email. The email was going into MailChimp and then they went into the funnel. They had the upsell, the downsell, and all of this was digital and I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to go make something. I didn't have to ship anything out. I just was like, hmm, I just sold a class for $800. Hmm, I just sold a class for $2,400. Oh, here go, and I'm up on a jet ski and got a little vibration. Um, actually, it was a little necklace thing. You know, you had your phone and the little thing so it don't get wet. It was a $1,200 sale because somebody just bought my course. I didn't have to do anything because the course was already there. It was recorded. I did all the work beforehand. And so because I had the systems in place, it all worked without me. That was a great analogy. Thank you. That's not, I'm not going to lie. That's not my analogy. That was Lola's. I got that from her. My, that was my mentor. That's her, that's her analogy. So I'm going to give her credit for that. That's her analogy. And so you want to have client onboarding. What are they getting paperwork? So that once they log in and they um, sign up for your course, are they put directly into the course? In the email sequence, does the form go out for them to fill out? Do they have to sign something? Like, what is the process? What is the system to make it easy for you? Because eventually you want to not have to do this. You want to hire somebody to do this. You can't hire somebody to do this if you don't even know your processing and your systems. So you have to have the systems put in place so that you can replace yourself. So I have the presentation for my course ready. I need to learn how to get in my clients. Cool. Uh, Tiffany, tell me what you do. Go ahead. Put that in the comments for me. Um, So, yeah, streamline your process. That's step four. 
Yep, I said five. All right, we're on the last one. Step five. Everybody go ahead and type step five. And actually, Tiffany, this is actually what you were just saying, how to do it. I see people making six figures with stand store with digital products. Yeah. So I'm going to just say this real quick because I'm not supposed to because this is actually what I, uh, <laughs> this is actually what I talked about in the VIP. Now, while I love the stand store because everybody is doing it, to me, I want you to think about the people who are making the six figures in a stand store. Are they already well known or are they new? Is this a new is this a new audience for them or do they have an audience built already? Right. That's the difference. So you can't say that I'm about to go open a stand store and get to six figures if you don't have an audience, because the people with the stand store and it's funneling in they have an audience base already. So with a stand store, you have to funnel in your audience yourself, just like a Shopify store. You have to send the audience to your store, just like your website. You have to send the audience to your website. And so for me, what I teach all the time is having an Etsy store because an Etsy store is great for beginners who have no audience because instead of you having to send people to your Etsy store, Etsy is like a... Um, a marketplace where people are looking for your products, they type it into the search bar, and then Etsy, based on your keywords, will put you in front of your audience. Uh, with ClickFunnel is the same. Essentially, it's the same because you have to send people to your funnel unless you run ads, right? But then that's money. And so I teach organic. When I made my 16,000, when I start actually, when I would start making the, the five figures every month, I, I didn't run ads. This was all organic, creating a group. And this was a group outside of the boss lady group, right? And so you have to get in front of your audience and send them to those places. When you have Etsy, you are in front of the world. And so when I had my party store, I had customers buying stuff from Australia, from the UK, from Mexico, from all over the place because Etsy was putting me in front of these people. I would have never came across somebody in Australia. Who I know live in Australia? Nobody. Who on my page from Australia? Nobody. How do I know? Because the insights tell me everybody who will be on my page on Facebook is from the United States. They're not even from Mexico. Right? I'm in Mexico all the time. But they're they not on my Facebook page. And so I can't send people that I'm not in front of to my page. And so when you have an Etsy store, you're going to be in front of people because Etsy puts you in front of people, again, based on your keywords, you got to know what you're doing with Etsy to get in front of the right people. Um, so, yeah, step five. Everybody, I see everybody putting in step five. Um, strategic sales. So what, uh, who just said it? Tiffany just said, like, I have this, but I don't know how to, let me get your exact what you said. You got the presentation, but I don't know how to get my clients in there. So strategic sales, and this actually is like partner in with what I said, client attraction. What are you doing in front of your, first of all, are you in front of your people? I had somebody, um, y'all know on my page, I had people say, okay, just tell me what you do and I'll give you digital products. And somebody came to me and said they do cooking. I was like, oh, okay, cool. What platform are you on? She said, Facebook. Mm -hmm. I don't know that. I'm a recipe person. And so... Um, Oh, thank you. Just got a drink. I've been talking this whole time. Husband just got in. Um, yeah, so I was like, I don't know. I'm, I'm a person who follows recipes. I like to watch YouTube because I don't know how to cook. I'm learning how to cook. I'm, I'm a recipe follower. So if y'all ever, if y'all like to cook and y'all want to send me recipes, just randomly just send me recipes. I'll be trying to cook for my family and they be like, ugh, this nasty. So Robert actually cooked way more than I do because that's beside the point. And so I'm like, but you're on Facebook. I don't know that I feel like I would be your audience, right? I don't know that I go to Facebook to find people cooking. I'm like, I'm going to YouTube, I'm going to Instagram, and every once in a blue moon, I'll go to TikTok. Very blue moon, like really blue moon, because I find everything that I need in Instagram or YouTube, right? And sometimes when you get it on YouTube and they don't be wanting to tell you their recipe and they be like, oh, but 
I go to YouTube for <laughs> the recipe. Like, okay, I like that, but let me get the, I need to watch a video. I don't even, like, don't even just tell me the, the ingredients. And I need to, I'm a visual, show me. And so I'll go to YouTube because I'm watching. And so one, if you can't get sales, are you in front of your people? That's number one. And then number two, are you presenting a win-win situation? It's a win for you because you're trying to build your, uh, I was about to say empire, and <laughs> you're trying to build your business, right? You have your own internal goals. And then it's a win-win because you're helping them with a transformation. And so I want you guys, the biggest key in selling is to sell the transformation, not the problem. Or even don't even like lead with, this is everything that you get from me. And then that's all you're talking about. Like, what is the transformation? And so for me, when I was teaching with PNCC, I'm about to teach you how to open. You got all these PNCC places opening and they're like, they're like I, er, nobody want to tell me. Well, if you get in my class, uh, you can learn how to open. And so what was the transformation? You about to open a business that can become a million dollar business, right? Um, I will send you my, yes, please send y'all send, send the love, send the cookbooks, send the recipes. Yes. If you like to cook, y'all need a YouTube cause I need help, help me. <laughs> All right. Help me. <laughs> and I see somebody else saying like, so it's a lot of us. Look, you already got your, your audience right here. We don't know how to cook. We don't, we don't know what we're doing. My, I didn't, I didn't, my grew up, my grandfather cooked and he went like, Hey, let me show you. My mom was always working, so I was at my grandmother's house a lot. I didn't learn how to cook. I, I He did everything for me, so help me. All right, I have 300 email lists. Should I absolutely start there. A absolutely start there. Kizzy said she go help us. So if y'all need help like I need help, look, everybody go follow Kizzy who need help. Uh, help us, Kizzy. Help us. Help us. Help us. All right. And so... Um, Pescatarian, yes, pescatarian. Because again, y'all know I got all these food allergies. I gotta be gluten free, rice free, corn free, almond free. All, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. Anywho, win win situation. Here's another thing. Sometimes people are not gonna buy from you just because you said it, right? Just because you said it, people are not gonna buy for you, from, from, from you. Right. So you have to, one, show testimonials. And so when I um, again, I had like a super cheap price with PNCC. I was helping people for like three, four hundred dollars. They start getting open like they were opening. And so now I'm like, oh, I got this program. I got this company open. I got this company open. So now I'm telling people how many businesses I got open because they took my class. And then um, as my price continued to grow, I helped a few people get to six figures with this business. So not only did I help her open, I helped her get to six figures in seven months. And she was like, I should have post it. She was like, she was this close for it to be in six months, but she got it on the seventh month at the beginning of the seventh month. Don't y'all hate that technicality when the people buy it like 2 a.m. on the next month? Like, man, I could have counted. That's kind of how what happened with my 16,000, but I still counted it in one month. Anywho, uh, so you need testimonials. You need to show people you know what you're talking about and you have proof in what you're doing. And so when I start saying, I just helped this company get to six figures in seven months. Yeah, I got to help somebody get to six figure in six months because that sounds better. I got to help somebody six months, six figures in six months sound way better. Anywho. Um, so, yeah, I helped her. So now when I had that. Now they really start rolling in. Now I really start um, selling my my program because people want receipts. People don't care what you did for yourself. They care, like, are you helping other people? So if I became a millionaire and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a millionaire. I want to help other millionaires. But did you help anybody else become a millionaire? Right? Like, did, because I say this example all the time, not every amazing doctor, this doctor could be the chief of staff. I think that's what it's called. Um, this doctor can be uh, what is it? What's, what's, what's the gift of hands? Who is that? Ben, Ben, Ben Carson. I think that's Ben Carson. Like he amazing doctor, but that don't mean he can be a great teacher. He might not be able to teach you. 
He's good at what he do, but he might not be able to teach you. And so when you start having receipts, that's showing proof that you know how to help somebody else, not just yourself, right? Ben Carson, see, I, I know, I know. People want receipts. People want receipts. Write that down. Everybody type that in. People want receipts. It doesn't matter how much you know and how you have helped yourself when it comes to teaching people. If you don't have receipts in um, helping somebody else. All right. So you need to be in front of people, not only with receipts, you need to be posting again about what you do. You got to be in front of people seven to what I wrote down seven to 20 times for people to even remember what it is that you do. Right. Y'all see that I have my transition of the business and I, I'm, I'm doing a soft launch soon. Um, I'm going to get to that in a second. This is a really good question. I'm going to leave that up there so I don't forget. Um, so I'm doing a soft launch because I changed Boston the University a little bit. And I told y'all it was coming, right? And I was like, it finally, I got the download from God. It's what I've been doing but it's clearer now, right? And so the clarity, still helping people take their hobbies and ideas and making six figures, that's always been it, but it's through digital products because that's how I did it. I mean, I made multiple six figures in, in coaching through digital products. So now it's like, okay, now I gotta help people do that. I wanna help you do that, right? And so how do you get receipts in the beginning? Freebies. How do you get receipts in the beginning? You kind of, you have to, grow right and so if you create this program like let's say the program that i'm coming out with and i, I i've seen people say oh yeah um i'll pay you fifteen thousand for it if i'm new i might want to start charging 400 500 for it so that and also make sure that you kind of screen because you don't want just anybody in the program right you want people who will do the work because you want receipts so I'm not going to just let anybody in. So um, you charge a smaller amount to get people in. And in return for you having a smaller amount for my class, I need a, 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 um, a testimonial from you. I, and it's a win-win because people who, when they get into like your beta classes, because I need you to win just as much as you need you to win. And so most of the time, beta classes, they'll give you more. Because for one, they might not know what's too much. But again, the motivation for a beta class is I need to get people to from point A to point B or to whatever that transformation is. I need to help you do that so that I can have receipts because I know what I'm talking about. And so, yes, you can do freebies, but freebies are really just to get emails. I apologize if y'all hear my dog because Robert just came in. She'd be so excited. Um, she'd be like, take me outside. Y'all ever have kids that be like, when dad get home, say I'm hungry, but they didn't say nothing to you the whole time that they was, that's what the dog do. So she'd be like, I gotta go outside. She didn't say nothing while we just been here all day that she gotta go outside. But literally every day he get home, she acting like she about to pee on herself. That's the exact point. So yes, people need receipts. So this is how you get receipts by having a smaller price in exchange for testimonials. I want you to get to transformation. Uh, yeah, you're taking your dog out. That's funny. Yeah, dogs are funny. And, you know, yeah, we talked about that in the VIP too. All right, let's see. So um, get it from your people seven to 20 times. You need to be in people's inboxes, you know, um, one or two times a week um, just to have different conversations. I don't know if you notice, like if you follow me, um, if you notice that I become more interactive and on my page, when you become interactive on your page, that makes Facebook put you in front of more people. And so my Facebook page has been growing rapidly. Um, I said I had a goal of 8,000 people by the end of this month. What is it, the sixth? I'm like 50 people away from 8,000 already because I've been very active on my page. And so responding to people, talking to people, letting people know what you know. All right. So that's what you want to do. Whatever it is that you're good at, start posting about it. Start asking questions to help people. Um, what do you need my help with? 
like, yay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you want to be interactive and engaging on your page. That's how you're going to be put in front of more people. Another tip, it helps with your algorithm. Yes. Another tip is also friending people who don't have as many mutual friends as you. And so I've noticed like when I friend people who have like five mutual friends, first of all, I screen people that I say yes to friends. Otherwise it's decline and you just become a follower. And so I'll go to their page and I see what business they have. I see if their business is posted. I see what they're doing. I see the type of material that if they just, I'm gonna say it anyway. If they got ratchet stuff on their page, I'm not like, I don't wanna see that on my timeline. So I'm very protective of my timeline. And so if we don't have that many mutual friends, I become their friend and now I can be in front of their audience. And so that's something to think about as well. And so, yes, just get out there, do your, <laughs> you made the cut. Yes. Yeah, so if you here and we friends, you made the cut. You made the cut. All right. Any questions real quick before I get on the last piece? I want to leave you guys with this. Focus on the transformation and the benefits that you offer. All right. I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, I passed the not ratchet. <laughs> I mean, I try to be careful on what I say stuff like that. <laughs> like, but yeah, I, I protect my peace. I protect my timeline. I protect, I don't, I don't myself, I don't curse. So I try not to see that. I don't put myself around that. I don't put myself around drama. I am very quick to unfriend. I'll unfriend in a minute. I'll unfollow in a minute because I protect what I see. I protect my eye gates. And so I'll go down my timeline and I see a lot of nothing but God right? Because I'm careful in how I select friends. A lot of family had to go. A lot of old friends had to go. If we was friends in college and we ain't talked since, you got to go. Like be, be nosy as a follower, not a friend. So um, yes, 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 yes. So as a wrap up, to wrap this all up, if you got questions, go ahead and post your questions. Um, focus on your niche, Focus on your content because we're focusing on um, how you're going to help, and how you're going to solve the problem, not just the problem. You're not going to focus on the problem. You're going to focus on how you solve the problem. You're going to have your offer and you're going to do your research on your price and you're just not going to randomly price it and be like, oh, you know what? I feel like this is $27. We're not doing it based on filling. We're doing it based on research. Um, you're going to have your transformation. You're going to talk about the transformation that you're offering. You're going to set up your systems and you're going to master your sales. All right. What you're not going to focus on, what you not go do. You're not going to focus on your website. It's nice to have a website, but if you have a website and no program or a pretty website and you know nobody going to it while well, we focus on the website right now. And this is if you're in the beginning, all right? You said you would do a friend purge. Yep, I had to do it, I hate it. I'm like, Facebook should have something else. Like, okay, people that's not active in a list and you can just delete, but that's beside the point. Um, so we're not gonna focus on the website. We're not gonna put too much focus on really even a logo. Cause again, I didn't have a website or a logo when I made my first 16,000. So that's not necessary. It's good to have, but it's not necessary. Don't stress yourself out over these things, right? Um, you don't focus on your competition. Now, you can use your competition and say, hey, what are they doing and how are they pricing? But I'm not going to focus on, oh, she's doing better than me. Um, you know, she, like, why would they come to me if, she's amazing and she fire and she bring in fire because they might not relate to her. They might relate to you. And so you're not going to focus on your competition um, because sometimes people who you think are your competition really are somebody that you can collaborate with. Also, they want you to win just as much as you want you to win. So that's not, she's not your competition. She really want to be your friend, right? Um, you are able to see, you got to send me a message and let me know how that works. I don't know. I don't know how to do that, but I would like to do that. Like, cause I, I'm, I keep, we're getting close to that 5,000 mark and I'm tired of just going down all this list and see who, who I need to delete. I told Robert to tell his friend, his family, I'm sorry. It's not personal. It is not promise, but I got to delete people and they don't, 
they not go buy nothing. I can't help them get to six figures if they're not doing what I'm doing. Right. So, OK, uh, we're not going to focus on our imposter syndrome. And that was from this morning. You are worthy. You have your oil. You know what you know. Your people are waiting for you. Your program is going to be worth it. And you deserve it. You, especially at our age, what we've been through and our drink, you deserve it. So we're not going to have imposter syndrome stop us. You're going to get your stuff out there. All right. And then you're not going to let what other people think stand in your way. And I don't know if you guys, some people are new to me, so they didn't hear this story. My family used to call me Tommy. Who is Tommy? Y'all know Tommy from Martin. They used to call me Tommy because when I became an uh, entrepreneur, 100%, um, they just thought I was sitting at home because when I did it, it wasn't a thing. Like it wasn't like how Facebook is full of people who are entrepreneurs and doing all these different things. Like 10, 15 years ago, that wasn't like that. We was literally just on Facebook talking to people like, hey, I went to college with you. Hey, girl. Like that's how it was. But, you know, it's been this boom. But when I first started, nobody understood me or what I was doing. And so my mom would be like, get Maria to do it because she at home doing nothing. Get Maria to do it because, you know, they would call me Tommy. Like she ain't working. She ain't doing nothing. Yes, I was. But they didn't understand it. And so we're not going to focus on what other people think. All right. Uh, let's see. I didn't complete compete. We collaborate. We first live my life. Yep. Tune in as we talk about self love. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are doing. Um, I, you did the nonprofit. I believe. I think I saw that. Um, you wanted to try collaboration a year ago. Experienced myself in a circle of jealousy. Listen, in this season, you got to ask God for guidance. We not just go guide it. Holy Spirit guide me. If people who don't need to be in my life, cut them. They got to go. And so I really quick want to show you guys this video. Um, this video is 50 seconds. So again, don't leave because I got that contest. This is how we get y'all. Don't leave. Don't leave. Uh, I know it's been like an hour and 15 minutes, but don't leave. Uh, let me show you guys this video really quick. This video is from like three years ago. This is when I hit my first five figures. My boss lady again in July with the information. Can y'all hear that? I had about $800 that I made that month. I was doing my lives. I was creating digital products. Fast forward to August, I ended up catching COVID. was down for about two and a half weeks, but it was my highest paid month ever. I built the systems to carry me for the two and a half weeks that I couldn't work in August. I made $13,000. Now, it would have been $16,000 had the few ladies not purchased at 2 a.m. in the morning, making it technically September 1st. But in my head, I made $16,000 in August. It was just a technicality. Today is September 11th, and I made $10,000 already. And put those systems in place. Digital products are key. I did not physically do anything. I'm on vacation, and I made $10,000. All right. So I just wanted to show y'all that, again, I made that video like three years ago and I was blown. Like y'all can see like the, the smile that I had. I was blown that here I am in Mexico with my husband. Uh, we were celebrating our anniversary early and I had just made $10,000. And again, this is coming from, I think in Boss Lady, at the most, I made like five or six hundred dollars a month because I had my other businesses. And so I wasn't too concerned with it. But again, it wasn't until I met with my coach and she told me, like, you know, all of this stuff. Now do this, 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 this. I did what she said. And then, boom, the next month. Now, again, y'all saw it was 13,000, but technically 16 because they bought it at 2 a.m. I'm so mad about that. Like it, two hours earlier. So it. It was 16,000 in one month. And then the next month I had made it to 10,000 by the 11th. So are y'all like, can y'all see yourselves with that? Can y'all see that happening for you? Like, what would you guys do if you made your first uh, five figures in a month? Let me see. What would you guys do? What would you guys do? What would you do? You got to have a plan for this. What would you do with 15,000 or, or 16,000. What would you do with 16,000? 
Reinvest. Oh, that's good. Yep. Most of the time as a business owner, you definitely put it back in business. All right. Um, okay. So the contest, I'm about to, yes, invest. Yes. You put it back into yourself, pay tight, then reinvest. Yes. Okay. Pay down some debt. Yep. 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 Imagine you having 16,000, 20,000 every month. And so um, I know I say get to six figures, but before we can get to six figures, we got to hit that five figure month. How many people know how much you need to make a month to make it to six figures, $100,000. How much do you need to make a month? Y'all should know that. Like we all say we want to get to six figures. I know that number. I know the number for 1 million. How much do you need to make a month to get to six figures? Come on. Y'all should know that. Okay, somebody said 20,000. Yeah, $8,333. That is the exact amount that you need to make every single month to get to $100,000. Now you do 20K, cool. You over $100,000. It's 8,333. How much do you need for 1 million? Because that's my goal right now. $83,333. You need to know that because you can't make it to the end goal unless you make it to the monthly goal. Or sometimes, you know, maybe break it down in quarters. But you need to know your numbers, right? And so what I've just been talking to you guys about is getting in front of your customer, having a beta course if you need testimonials. This is what I'm coming to you guys for. I, I need your help. I need testimonials. And so as I do this soft launch, again, this is a soft launch, um, I'm coming out with a course, the very same course that people want to try, um, pay the 15000 for. So because I need testimonials, it's not even going to be close to the $15,000. I don't even I don't have the confidence yet to even do that. And so I want to show you guys what I'm coming out with, what I want to help you guys with, because my goal in this course is to get you to your first five-figure month. All right, so don't leave because it's going to be real short because I don't like this part, but I know that I have what you need to help you. And then I'm going to tell you about the contest for you to win and what I'm going to give away, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm giving away another free one-on-one session. And so Tiffany Harris, I don't know if she's here, she actually won the first contest for the one-on-one. So this next contest, I'm going to do another free one-on-one session, and that's worth like $350. It's over $300. I haven't put a complete... Um, yeah. So... This is what I am coming out with. It's called the Boss Lady Within Beta Class. And so because it's beta means that I have to have it at a very, I don't have to, I don't. Where I am in business, I don't have to, but I want to. Um, I want to help people get to their first five figures with a digital course, not just random. And so because I became very targeted, I'm helping people get to five figures and six figures in digital classes. Because my overall goal eventually is going to be $100,000 a month. That's going to be my goal in digital products, right? And so it's called the boss lady within. And what are you going to be doing? And so we're going to be going, it actually is a two-month program. It's two tiers. And I'm going to show you that in a second. It's either going to be a two-month program or a three-month mentorship. I'm offering two. Why am I offering two? In this beta, I want to see what's going to work best. Is it going to be best to have a class or is it going to be best to do mentorship? And so this in the beta, when you have a beta, this is what you do. You try it and see what's going to work. Is it too much information? Is it not enough information? And so eventually when I got from my PNCC, I got my university up to $4,500 and $5,000 because I kept testing it what's too much, what's too little. And then I got feedback and they'd be like, oh, I need more of this. I need more of this. And whatever my audience said they need more of, I added it. And when I added more, <laughs> it just became more. So eventually it you know, got up to $5,000 for the university. And so we're going to be talking about who's your audience. We're going to actually create a few different digital products for your audience. So I don't want you to come into this class. I'm being picky. I don't want you to come into this class and you come in with five different business ideas. I don't want that. This year, we're hyper-focused. We're doing one. Everybody say one business. One business. So when you come into this course, 
if you're selected, if you come into this course, one business, I, I, I need you to have one business. And you don't have to be 100% sure, um, you know, of what you want to do per se, but it's one business. It's one business. And it's going to be creating a digital product that's a course with supplemental things. Because um, can you get to five figures selling a book? You can, but I haven't done that. So I don't want to teach you what I, I've never done. Have I gotten to five figures selling a course? Yes. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I think it's very challenging to just sell an ebook and get to five figures. I don't know. I, d I just haven't done it. So I can't tell you how to do it if I haven't done it. And so we're going to um, launch your first five figure month in everything that I'm going to teach you. Also, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the systems. So people want to know, how do you do a click funnel? My, like I said, my coach walked me step by step over, over Zoom and said, click this, say this, write this here, attach Stripe right here, put PayPal if you want right here, set up the email right here. Here's the pop-up. This is what all of that, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. How do you create a click funnel? How do you attach your MailChimp? How do you have the course? Because you're going to create a course. How do you have the funnel attached to the course that, again, you don't have to do anything? They just pay you and they go right into the course and it's done. How do you do that? So this class, there is no gatekeeping. So I want you to type no gatekeeping. Because I want people like to me, which is why this this three day challenge, you got to have a solid foundation. So you will also learn step by step that solid foundation. Right. Um, you have to like it's a process. I want to tell you step by step with no gatekeeping on what to do, because even though I love my coach for what she taught me, it was a lot she didn't teach me. And so I felt like I still was going bumping my head a little bit trying to figure stuff out. And because it was information I didn't get from her. And so in this, this is no gatekeeping. All right. Then I'm going to talk about branding yourself. Again, you don't have to brand yourself to hit that five figures, but it makes it easier. And so as I upscaled my, my, my pictures and my low, like all these different things, the money just came in faster, right? Because I created that commercial. How many of y'all saw that commercial that I created with my family? Um, people then start sharing that commercial and they was like, oh, I need a coach for this. And I sent them my commercial and that was almost making me more valid because my brand elevated, right? Would it be a class you would consider for resale? That's a good question. I know that's hot right now. I do. I know that's hot. I have to think about that because I know a lot of people are doing, because um, I know a lot of people follow Ashley. I love Ashley. Like she's my motivation when she did what she do, like 1.5 million in like 20 minutes or something like that. She's my motivation. Um, I, I really have to think about that. I I feel like for her, it's okay for her to do that because she she made multi-millions already. Uh, so she don't have to do much to sell out in a class because her audience is there. Um, I have to think about that. That's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to talk about how to brand yourself. I'm going to talk about how to determine what to teach. What are you going to teach? Like, um, like I said, the lady in VIP, she's like, I'm a dentist and I do this and I do this and I, I want to make an ebook, but I, I, I don't know what to teach them. And it just as soon as she was talking, it was like, boom, I got some ideas for you. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, Ashley Grayson. Don't come with negativity in the comments about anything. I'm just say that right there. Don't come with no negativity about Ashley in the comments. I'm going to say that. All right. No negativity. We don't do that over here. Um, we're going to talk about pricing. How do you price it? And so I gave you like some, <laughs> I gave you some ideas, but it's really going to be a course on pricing. And so I'm literally going to break everything down. And like I said, it's either going to be two months if you do the course, three months if you do the mentorship. And so this is everything. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? All right. So it is tier one, just the course, two months. If you do just the tier one, 
module one, we're going to our business foundation, learning your audience, creating your brand, deciding you're creating your business model. And that's going to be um, what type of courses, what type of like ebooks, e you know, e workbooks and things like that. I did all of them. Um, choosing your topic, deciding on your software, creating your class, like step by step, how to create your class, how to price it, multiple streams of income from this class, building your audience organically. And then sales 101. Again, this is exactly what I did. And so why I have it beta is because I did it, but I don't have enough testimonials of helping other people. And so I want testimonials of helping you get to five figures. Like I said, a beta is a win-win situation. <laughs> Somebody said, hey, cousin. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yes, it's a win-win situation. It's me helping you and also helping me. It, it's more, it's advantageous for me to get you to five figures so that I can show people I know what I'm doing because I do, because I did it myself. And so because I did it myself, that's not good enough to me. Um, somebody actually um, nominated me for an honorarium doctorate degree. I said, no, because to me, I have not done enough to help other people. I don't care what I did for myself. And so I was like, I need to help more people. I need to help more people in the community before I can even think about getting such an honor, like a, a, something like, I don't want that if I have not helped enough people in the community. I don't care about what I did. And so with this beta class, I want to help people get to five figures. So everybody say they want to get to five figures. I want to help you get to a five figure month. And so in tier one, there are bonuses. It's a launch checklist, a DIY move, um, move board template, webinar templates, click funnel templates, because not only will I teach you how to do the click funnel. And again, I've been doing click funnel for click funnels for like eight years. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to teach you the classic, the classic version of click funnels <laughs> or the 2.0 because I'm very, 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 very familiar with the classic. 2.0 is a whole new ball game. So I'm up in the air right now, which one I'm gonna do with y'all. Um, but a slideshow template, mastermind template, like how, how do you do a mastermind? Do you wanna do a mastermind? I'm gonna get to that question in a second, Tamika. Um, you wanna learn, you're gonna sign up for, you have a, the um, classic, like, listen, if you actually look at Sam, if you look at the 2.0, I almost cried. It was so overwhelming because it's completely different. And I'm like, I need a coach. <laughs> I need a coach for this new part because my coach walked me through this and taught me this. I don't know what this is. And so I know this is how ClickFunnels is overwhelming because it's so much. But once you get it, it's good. Um, so we're going to sign up for affiliate programs because that's another stream of income. Um, your first 100 Etsy sales. We're going to talk about automation and systems, MailChimp setup, email template, hiring your team, your star team. We talked about that in the VIP today. Working with your family. Y'all know I'm big with on that. Um, how to hire your kids and have it be a great tax write-off. There's going to be a monthly report card. Why? Because I need for y'all to be accountable. So y'all see peer-to-peer -peer accountability and support group. It's, I'm a teacher. Remember, I say I went to school to be a teacher. So the teacher in me is, is this part, the monthly report card. I don't want people coming into my class and saying it didn't work. And if you say it didn't work, let's pull up your report card. Oh, it looked like you missed 10 classes. You, you missed 10 modules. How's something going to work if you ain't do it? Because again, remember, I'm doing this to help you. I can't help you if you don't do it. And so there will be a monthly report card that's going to hold you accountable. Because I don't know about y'all when y'all was in school, I like to be, I like to get A's. I like to, and it's not going to be graded. It's really going to be, did you do type of thing, right? And so I don't want to let my teacher down. I don't want to, like when I have meetings with Lola and she'd be like, okay, have this stuff ready when we meet. Even if I'm doing it two hours before we meet, it's done before I meet with her because I don't want to let her down. And so I know a lot of people are like that. So the monthly report card is every single week is we're going to like talk about it because you have to get this stuff done. You cannot get five figures if you do not do the work. OK, and then another bonus is we're going to have time blocking 101. So that's time management and then different apps and systems for tracking and organizing. That's tier one. Tier two is mentorship. And this is actually the one Lola wants me to do. So I'm trying to figure out which one I'm going to do. Right. And so she said, I'm great at mentorship. <laughs> I know this. So like, I, we, we go see. So mentorship is everything that's in tier one. 
Plus there's an additional module. It's going to be Facebook ads. It's going to be a specialist that's going to come in and talk to you guys about Facebook ads. Again, you don't have to do that. I didn't do ads well into already making the uh, sixth or the five figure months for some time, but then I changed my audience and I needed to do Facebook ads. Um, you're going to have in the mentorship one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. So still going to have like the peer-to-peer -peer accountability, but now you're going to be meeting with me. Uh, we're going to have an in-person two-day mastermind that's going to be in June. You're going to have a team, an implement, implementation team for two weeks, meaning you're going to be ready to um, launch your course but then I'm going to have an implementation team for you. So like graphic design, somebody to help you with your copy, somebody to help with um, social media content to take that stuff off your plate. Um, and then you can see how to work with the team. And so we're going to have a team for you. You don't have to go out and find a team. We're going to have a team for you. Uh, you're going to have a customized success plan. So again, if you're in VIP that came with VIP, make sure you fill out that form and I'm going to have everything to you guys by Friday. It's a lot of people who didn't fill that, that form out yet. Um, there's going to be one-on-one bi-weekly accountability calls. And that's actually, I'm deciding if I'm going to do that in tier one, too. I don't know for sure yet. But, you know, bi-weekly, we're going to all meet and it's going to be an accountability call. And then 30 days of content for launch. So you're going to launch. What do you post on social media? We're going to give you 30 days of content. We're going to talk a little bit about business credit. We're going to talk about how to sell on Etsy. I actually have a program that you're going to get access to. You're going to create a YouTube channel. You're going to add physical products to your digital business. You're going to wholesale these digital products. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to talk to you guys also about Pinterest marketing. A lot of you guys need to be on Pinterest, but you don't understand it. Pinterest is 10 times better than TikTok because TikTok, your stuff is gone like that. Pinterest, your stuff is there for years and people still will find it if you do it right. So we're going to have Pinterest marketing. And then oh, I already said that you're going to have an implementation team. You get 20 hours of implementation team. So that's a three month program for uh, mentorship. And so who is this for and who is this not for? This is not for you if you are not ready to dedicate the time. OK, yeah, you can watch the VIP. Um, if you're not ready to dedicate the time, it's not for you, because, again, this is a win win situation. When you win, I win. And so if you don't win, I don't win. And so right now, now when I launch it later and it's not beta, you can do it and you can take all the time in the world that you want to do it. Um, but right now in the beta, it's two months. We need results. So in two months, if you want results, you got to do the stuff. So this course is not for you if you cannot dedicate the time to do the stuff. You, this is not for you if you prefer to learn everything on your own. Um, actually, whoever asked about the um, resale rights, this class is so loaded. I don't think that I don't think that I, I'm gonna do that. This when I say this, this class is loaded. This again, this class is going to be eventually fifteen thousand dollars. Is what I'll, I'll create smaller classes and I'll sell that for it to be resale. This cannot be resold. This is my signature course. I had to think about that, and the Holy Spirit just dropped that in. Thank you because I wasn't even thinking about it. I just dropped it. I'm not going to resell this. It's too much. This is this is again, like I said, this is no gatekeeping. Most coaches are not going to um, tell you all of what I'm teaching you in this class. So, yeah. And then if you don't want to actually do the work with people, like if you don't want to help people, then I don't want you can't who the course for. And so, like, if you don't want to create a course and you don't want to work with people and you don't want to see them with a transformation, I can't help you. So the transformation could be anything, even if it's fitness, if you want to help them lose 10, 20 pounds, if you want to help with therapy, if you want to help teach them to cook like it has to be some type of transformation if you have no transformation i this not for you right this is for you if you're ready to change your life and you're ready for those five figure months if you're ready to see your customers get results like for me i'm ready to see y'all get results this is for you if you are coachable this is for you if you are ready to take action this is for you if you are ready to have your six figure year from digital products you go be on a beach somewhere about to get on a jet ski or you parasail and you get a vibration you just sold fifteen hundred dollar course this is for you um oh michelle <laughs> you said you must have been hearing me yell on the computer about the resale look michelle tell me in a minute you better not and so when y'all see these courses 
you know, just know that I did have a conversation with Michelle and she wasn't 100 percent happy with me with these prices. Just know that because I do go. I talk. We talk to the faith figure sisters, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. Anywho. Uh, so this is for you. If you're ready to take your life back and not give your life away to a business, if you're ready to have more freedom again, like y'all saw, I said I was sick for a week. I was down just last week. And I made almost $2,000 through digital products. I didn't have to go in and clock in nine to five. Um, I don't even know how I would do a nine to five right now with these health issues that I got. Um, but yeah, so it's a yes for you if you're ready for all of that. No, if you're not ready for that. So I'm about to put the, uh, the prices up real quick. And so y'all see the, the bossladywithin.com. That's where you go to actually pay for the class. This is only going to be available until Friday, because this is an early bird special, because I will be dropping this class soon with my mentor. I'm partnering with her and that the price is going to be not this. It's going to be way more than this. And so I actually talked to her first before I was like, I was like, is it OK? Uh, some people can't afford 15000 Yeah, no. I, and it's, it's not going to be that. And so this is an early bird special. For those of you that's in my community, when it gets to the other community, it's going to be more than this. And so these prices are only available until Friday. So what, if, if Saturday you come to this website right here, those links will be gone, just FYI. So the class is going to launch in at the end of March, early April. So it's going to launch this month. Um, we're just you know, working out the details with my mentor. So... <laughs> The tier one is $597 if you make one payment. And then two payments of $350 if you do a payment plan. And so if you go to the website, you'll see it says Boss Lady, Boss Lady Within Course. Um, you have one payment, two payments. If you're ready for mentorship, and y'all remember everything that I had up there, if y'all ready for mentorship, it's either one payment of $2,400 or three payments of 850. Now y'all gotta remember, I usually charge 5,000 plus for my classes, but because this is beta and also because this is an early bird special to my community only, this like you're not, y'all not, not go see these prices ever <laughs> again, ever. You're not, you're not gonna see these prices ever again. I know that everybody can afford 15,000 even with a payment plan. Um, so this is my gift to my audience. Um, when I launch it again with my mentor, these not going to be the prices. And so just for you guys to really quick see what it is in each so you can decide, this is what's included for each. Again, when I went and talked to people and I got an idea of what something like this is, um, they were saying like $10,000, $15,000. And so because I know who I'm called to, I know that my audience can't afford that right now. But again, overall, the goal of this program is for you to get your first five figure month. Five figures is $10,000 plus. All right. So I'm going to leave that up. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, she put the website in, the, in there too, in the comments, too, if you need if you want to copy it. Um, the contest. And so what I want for each one of you guys to do is I want you to go to my page, personal page, not business page, personal page, go to my personal page. And all I'm asking for you guys to do is to write on my personal page what you learned from this three day challenge. What was great for you? What was like some aha moments? What was some great nuggets? What was some transformation that you received? Um, from this three day challenge? Again, remember, we talked about self love. We talked about um, health insurance commercial insurance, buying a home as an entrepreneur, this workshop right here, y'all want to drop about this. I, also, I don't know that I'm going to make this public. So you don't have to put this out on there because I don't know that I'm going to make this part public right now for sure. This is this early bird special is to my community. Okay. I don't know that this is because y'all been rocking with me for some time. So don't talk about the boss lady within beta class. So if you go post on my, my, my uh, page, don't talk about the boss lady within beta course. Okay. This is only for you guys. And so um, if you go and post on my page, your nuggets that you learned from this three day challenge, just like I did the raffle for today, when the wheel was spinning, 
and it's, it picks somebody, I'm going to do that again. And the winner's going to get a free one-on-one -on -one class with me. Or not class, one-on-one uh, -on -one session, 45 minutes. Again, I usually charge 300 to 350 for that. Um, you'll get that for free just for posting. And I want to see it was great. I'm not counting that. Anybody can say I, I need some real great nuggets because, again, this is testimonials. Right. And so in exchange for testimonials, you can give something away. This is one of something else that, you know, you can include. Give something away for testimonials. So if you guys go post on my page what you learned, what was great, you will go into a raffle to get a free one on one with me for 45 minutes. Any questions? NT questions. And I actually just got somebody actually just went and bought something. The stripe thing just went off. I don't know which one it was, but congratulations to whoever it is. I'm actually probably going to shout people out as they join, um, depending on how many people join. Because if it's like 50 people, I don't know that I'm going to be doing that for 50 people. But any questions? Because I know I kept y'all for some time. So I hope that this was helpful. You real, you will get the replay if you are in VIP so that you can go back and look at this. Um, but that is pretty much it for tonight. I just hope that this was helpful. Don't forget to go post on my page, my personal page, not in this group, not on my business page, not on Instagram, on my personal Facebook page, all right? You guys are so amazing. I love you guys. Um, let me know if you have questions after this. You can definitely hit me up in the inbox. Um, if the payments don't work, let me know and maybe we could try to work something out. Also, if you do a one-time payment, Klarna is available too. And so um, if you want to do Klarna, Affirm used to be on there, but it's not. So you also can pay for the one-time payment with Klarna if you wanna do either the course or the mentorship. All right, somebody said they need to call me. All right, uh, you guys have a great night. That is it, um, VIP people, all the recordings will be available by the end of tonight. You guys enjoy, <laughs> this definitely was a masterclass and not a 30 minute live like everything else. Uh, you guys have a good night and I will see you guys later. Bye. You guys are so welcome. Bye.